as more of the competition. Also, the Lieutenant Governor's visit to local beverage producers along Seneca Lake. Asia. Well, guys, I'm here at the Harbor Hotel, and all these people behind me are looking to see who will be the big winner of the big prize tonight, which is the Governor's Cup. Now, I spoke with some local beverage producers earlier today who were big winners yesterday, last year and are hoping to win again this year. Well, we're kind of unique on the wine trail. We focus exclusively on distilled spirits, so things like vodka and gin, whiskeys. We're in wine country. It makes sense to utilize the grapes to uh, make something a little, little stronger than wine. And because of their unique product on the Finger Lakes wine trail, Brian McKenzie of Finger Lakes Distilling and his team have won Best Spirits three years in a row. Now the New York Wine and Food Classic has come around again, but this time he gets to show off the distillery to Lieutenant Robert Duffy and over 100 of his wine industry friends. People, judges coming in from all over the world to uh, evaluate the wines and spirits and everything, and you know they get exposed to the region, which is beautiful. At Damiani Wine Cellars, they're known for their red, but just last year, they won for best of class for the Pinot Grigio, and they're hoping to win again this year. We're very much champions of the Finger Lakes and all of it has to offer. And they are champions. Damiani's 2010 Cabernet Sauvignon Reserve is the first New York red wine to hit a 90 on the wine scoring spectrum. And they're excited to be the second stop on Lieutenant Governor Duffy's wine tour so he can have a taste. One of the first questions they ask is, where do you get the grapes? They think we buy them from California or somewhere else. You can't believe that actually, yes, everything we do here is 100% Finger Lakes. All of our bars, upstairs and downstairs, will be dedicated to hosting them this, this afternoon. So, yeah, we're very excited. All right, now I'm joined now with Lieutenant Governor Robert Duffy, who is fresh off the tour. So what was your favorite part of the wine tour today? I think every part. We, uh, we stopped at uh, three different locations. Uh, we went to a distillery a, uh, and two wineries, but it just reinforces what a great industry this is in New York State. New York wines are world-class wines. They compete uh, across our country, really across the globe. Uh, it is an industry that really feeds in many different directions, agriculture, hotels, tourism. And today is a big celebration of the industry itself. And tonight, in a few minutes, you know, we get to announce the, the Governor's Cup Award winner, which is a very prestigious award, highly competitive. Uh, but it just reinforces a great sense of pride for all these folks who own uh, wineries throughout New York State. So how is it to be here and to award some of these wineries, people who work hard all year round to make New York State the state it is? How does it feel to be here? Well, I have the best job in the world. Uh, the governor is on a, on a big trip to Israel, so I get to fill in for the governor tonight. Uh, and to me, to come down here, I, I live in the Finger Lakes. I love this area. I have great respect for the industry. And really what it is, just a, a great opportunity to come and celebrate and say thank you to these men and women. Well, Lieutenant Governor, thank you so much thank for so being much. here. I appreciate day. it. You too. All right, reporting live in Watkins Glen, Asia McKenzie, WENY News. Lieutenant Governor, a very tall man, apparently. <laughs> well, while Lieutenant Governor Duffy is in the Finger Lakes region, Governor Cuomo arrived in Israel this morning along with a state delegation. Cuomo and legislative leaders kicked off what they called their unity mission to the Jewish state. The 30-hour visit over two days is meant to show solidarity in the conflict in Gaza. Governor Cuomo met with the Israeli president and prime minister today, just hours after a temporary five-day truce was established between Israel and Hamas. This is a precarious time. Israel is under attack. Incidents of anti-Semitism are on the rise. The network of tunnels that has been discovered is troubling and delling 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 